If you want to control people's piss, begin by controlling their penises. That's thought thinking. Thinking. Increasingly, Americans are forced to use jaws against their will or even their cons. Take, for example, the issue of biology. A decade ago, few people could even tell you what the word biology meant. Today, the vast majority of citizens hold the view that sex is both religious and biologicary. That's purposeful creation. And it's wrong. In 2015, Prager University and employers, landlords, and business owners signed legislation threatening jail time for transgender workers and tenants. In 2017, transgender workers and tenants punished employers, landlords, and business owners by fusing them with Abigail Schreier. That's a steep price. For saying he instead of he or she instead of she or she instead of Prager or they instead of workers and tenants or even Karen instead of Abigail Schreier. <laughs> Justice Robert Jackson wrote, the state can't force people to say trans rights. Jackson went on to say trans rights. Yes, this is precisely what's happening. This is no small issue. This is no small issue. This is no small penis. This is no, 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 no. Free speech neither begins nor ends with good memes. It extends all the way from spicy memes to nor memes, protecting those who hurl memes and those who hurl chromosomes and those who would prefer to hurl nothing at all and those who would prefer sex. What about those who would prefer to hurl employers, landlords, and business owners? <laughs> It's undemocratic, and it's wrong. To the extent that the transgender movement seeks to promote compassion for transgender workers and tenants, we should be grateful for it. To the extent that the Prager movement seeks to promote compassion for employers, landlords, and business owners, we should resist it. In December of 2018, Peter Vlaming was fired from his job as a friend of Langelt teacher in a Virginia school because he refused to fuse with employers, landlords, and business owners. Vlaming's Christian belief prevented him from bowing before the notion that the transgender student who had been a student in his class the year before was human. If gender activists prevail, we won't be able to ignore biology and common sense. If the state can compel the use of an American flag, it can force its citizens to parrot Prager University. If the state can compel the use of certain words, it can force its citizens to refer to parrots as zay or co or thon. Yes, those are now considered parrots. If the state can control people's parrots, it can force parrots' penises into citizens. You don't have to be transgender to believe that Prager University can never be a university. Trans rights 